Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey there! As you can see, I am a little upside down in my submarine. My submarine uses multiplication and decimal power for its ballast tanks. I was trying to solve 2.8 multiplied by 3. I input the number 82.4, and that is when the submarine turned upside down. Obviously, I have the wrong answer. Let's learn about how to multiply decimals so I can turn the submarine right side up. Today we're going to multiply decimal numbers. Using the standard algorithm, we're going to rewrite the problem 0 0.15 times 5 vertically, aligning the digits on the far right. And then we're going to take the 5 below and multiply it by each individual digit up above. Let's start with 5 times 5, which is 25. But we need to carry the 2 because we can only write one digit below. Now we multiply 5 times 1, and then we add 2 from above. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Next, 5 times 0. Well, that's 0. Our final step is to decide where the decimal point goes. Since the first number has two decimal places representing hundredths, our answer will have two decimal places as well. So we move two places to the left, and then we place the decimal point between the 0 and the 7. This means 0 0.15 times 5 is 0 0.75. Let's try another problem. 3.4 times 2.7. We can write the problem vertically, aligning the digits from right to left. Now we start multiplying. 7 times 4 is 28, and we'll carry the 2. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2 is 23. We can write both digits down below, we just need to make sure that each digit is in its own place value column. Now we need to write 0 below the 8 because this is a placeholder, and we need it so we can start multiplying by 2 in 2.7. Also, we need to cross out the 2 above that we had previously carried. And now we're ready to start multiplication again. 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 3 is 6. Our next step, we're going to draw a line and add. 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. We need to carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 6 is 9. It's time to determine where our decimal point will go. Since both 3.4 and 2.7 have one decimal place each, our answer will have two decimal places. Essentially, we're adding up the value of each decimal place. One decimal place plus one decimal place is two decimal places. So we found that 3.4 times 2.7 is 9.18. Great job! Let's multiply 2.8 times 3.0. Start by writing the problem vertically and aligning the digits from right to left. Notice in this problem that our decimal points align. If we started to multiply, we would be multiplying by 0 through the top number and 0 times 0 is 0. So we can skip this step and we can rewrite the problem as 2.8 times 3. Now let's multiply. 3 times 8 is 24. We want to carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. Since the top number has one decimal place, our answer will have one decimal place as well. So we found that 2.8 times 3.0 is also 2.8 times 3, 
which equals 8.4. Great job! Okay guys, what is the answer to 2.8 multiplied by 3? 8.4! Awesome! You did it! Uh oh. Ouch. I was not expecting that. Thanks for multiplying decimals with me today. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.